How's it going, everybody? Travis Alonix back here again, joined by Jason Olstein this Monday night. Back here, have a little bit like a again break off, but back talk about a lot to talk about. Jason, um, Yankees playing such great baseball, amazing baseball. Rutgers, a lot of news to talk about. Football had ten commitments over this weekend, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Just crazy for football. Uh, big official uh, visit weekend for all the recruits out there. And uh, yeah, Jason, how you doing? I'm all right. Um. I apologize for my uh my my loser shirt. Uh, I, I do apologize. I realized when I got on, it was a little too late. But uh, yeah, the heartbreak continues. I'm I'm pretty I'm pretty used to it. So uh, sorry about that. I just hit I just hit on that real quick. What a tough night. Uh, well, Saturday night was brutal, absolutely brutal. One of the one of the worst sports nights I remember in a while. I was miserable. Uh, but uh, yeah, I guess it's it's fully on to uh baseball. Even though it's been baseball and hockey every night now it's uh hoping the rangers change the night dynamic of the team a little bit and uh we'll see what happens but yeah the yankees note um pretty crazy i mean you know they say right when you get great starting pitching and when you get you know production up and down the lineup you know it's uh it's important you know soto's been absolutely smashing the baseball judge has been smashing the baseball volpe has been really hot of late um, just up and down the lineup, timely hitting after timely hitting, guys getting on base, manufacturing runs, um, you know, fantastic starting pitching. It stinks to see Clark Schmidt go down, uh, but with Cole coming back, you know, I, I think we're going to hang tough. I would like to see us, you know, as the deadline approaches, you know, I, I think you can never have too much starting pitching. So curious to see where we go there. Uh, the bullpen done a really good job as well, you know, uh, step it in when they need to. Um, and all around, yeah, I mean, the only really complaint, uh, you know, I think the left side of the infield has been a little wonky for me, in my opinion, with Torres and Rizzo. Uh, both have struggled a bit, um, so I would like to see us upgrade upgrade over there, you know, come deadline time, uh, you know, really solidify, you know, either second or first, um, you know, whether that's, you know, going to find a guy that could come into the seventh, in, seventh inning and pitch hit, or, you know, a guy that's really got a really sharp glove, you know, over at second base as well, so... Yeah, no, the Yankees have been playing some really, really great baseball, 42 and 19, I believe, right now. Um, yeah, nice off day today. Nice time to record a podcast without any uh, Yankee baseball going on. I'm sure I'll tune into some other MLB games in a little bit. And uh, yeah, no, from there, uh, yeah, we got Minnesota for three. So uh, let's go get another series, right? It's all about winning those series and uh, keep uh, keep plugging away at the AL East. Yeah, yeah, winning series, which they... Uh, one two and then swept swept the um Giants over the weekend seven two road trip out west it's kind of uh west tough some people stayed up late but I, I enjoyed it because I got to watch more games it's been tough lately late for me beginning of the year watching all full games but I mean it was it was awesome seven two they won five straight now like I said forty two and nineteen and you hit all the points like I said the great dominant starting pitching up or down the lineup guys coming through right side of the infield there or the first second base Rizzo Torres but when you're playing this good it's tough to nitpick but it's a little things because the games we've lost it's come down to those mistakes by the uh, infielders and by the, the little things that have cost us our games uh and our losses but yeah I mean Aaron Judge what um AL player of the month after the the rough start in April just it's historic amazing May um Luis Heal he's getting the ball tomorrow seven and one 1.99 ERA so far had six wins in May AL Pitcher of the month and rookie of the month announced today a 0.99 ERA. I mean, look at that guy. Wasn't projected to make the rotation coming out of camp. Cole goes down on the year he's having. Just it's amazing. And then he said the other guys. I mean, look at Rodon, Stroman. It's the whole team. Soto with that home run yesterday, two home runs. The game winner was simply amazing. Like you said, it's the whole team because uh Torres had a base hit, Trevino hustled down the line to beat double play ball out, Volpe the triple. Stanton even to get on, but he's been having a real good year. And yeah, I mean, it's just such fun, fun to watch. Most important thing is health. We got right now we're staying healthy besides Clark Schmidt going down, but um, Dominguez rehabbing, looking great. Cole rehabbing, we're going to have a start at Somerset tomorrow. So yeah, all good things. Stay healthy and uh, keep winning some baseball games day in, day out. Yeah, no, Travis pretty much uh, hit, hit on everything Yankees, Um, you know, I say it all the time, right? When you get really good starting pitching, it really allows, you know, I mean, yesterday was the first time besides after, before Cortez, I think pitchers pitched, I believe the number was uh, like 16 games. Correct me if I'm wrong 
of at least five innings of two runs or less, which is just an unbelievable stat. Like just the, 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 the ability to at least get us through five innings and give us that length, um, you know, day in and day out from all our star- starters. Heel's been fantastic. stroman has been really sharp of late. Um, Schmidt was really good before he went down. Uh, um, Rodon's been really good. Yeah, I mean, just just all throughout the 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 uh, the pitching, we've been we've been really sharp, and uh, I think uh, I think both Wells and Trevino have actually done a really good job job behind the dish. So, really, really excited to see uh, the season continue, and just you know, it's all fingers freaking crossed, man. Just you gotta stay healthy. You gotta stay healthy. It's what it comes down to, right? We got the one of the best outfields in baseball for healthy. Um, but you know, health is not guaranteed. So excited to see what we got, um, to turn it over kind of, I mean, just what a weekend for Rutgers football. I mean, coach on his birthday weekend. Yeah. I mean, unheard of what he's doing over there. I mean, get me to the first weekend of Rutgers football. I'm so damn excited. I haven't been this excited for a season in a while. We got two Friday night games announced one out in USC. And then, uh, I believe week four. We're going to take on Washington Friday night at 8 p.m. on Fox. I mean, I'm going to be in that parking lot at like 12 in the afternoon. I'm going to let my boss know that I cannot make it into work that day. I mean, looking at the schedule, we could potentially go into that game undefeated if we could beat Virginia Tech, which would be incredible. That place, if we're undefeated that night, we'll be out of this world. So I'm really hoping that's the case. Uh, We got to get there. We're a while. We got a lot of things to go through before we get there, but. I mean, yeah, just to uh, – I'll hit on the first few. Don't have them memorized, but um, I know the first guy we got um, was Miriam Gurman from Spencerport, New York, I believe. Yep. Uh, so that was on the first day. So that was Saturday. We got, I believe, five – we got four on the first day and six on Sunday. Is that correct? Yeah, it was four Saturday, five Sunday, the one the – one, one today. One and then the after um, after him, we, we attacked – we really attacked the defensive line. I know Braxton Kyle um, out of Savannah, Georgia, was another defensive lineman we uh, we got as well. Um, yeah. And then I know Raiden, Bur- Raiden Bruins, um, another 6'6", 250 de- 6'6", 250-pound defensive lineman, uh, was another from Lynn Haven, Florida. Um, so those are three off the top of my head uh, that we, you know, we got in. Uh, yeah. that could us. I think nine out of 21 guys that she, that were there for uh, official visitors weekend committed to Shiano and staff, which is just, it's, it's incredible. It shows, you know, what the staff really is doing as a whole. And I think it's just continuing to solidify the depth, you know, from the defensive front, the wide receiver room, we continue to bolster the offensive line. Some of the most important positions on the football field. And I really do think, you know, Shiano and staff, if you look at some of these guys offer list, these guys, these guys are no jokes. I mean, these guys have five, six other offers from Big Ten programs. So it really says something to where the where the recruiting is within the program. You know, when Chris Ash was here, we were fighting with the old Dominions. We were fighting with, you know, the lower level 1A AA teams. Now we're up here. We're fighting with Minnesota. We're fighting with Iowa. We're even fighting with Penn State. So it's really great to see how the recruiting has really risen under Shiano. And again, when you know the state and you know the area, and again, he's not just recruiting Philly, New York, and Florida. He's out in Georgia. He's out in North Carolina. He's out in Michigan. Michigan, where we've really expanded where we're recruiting. And I think that's why we're really, we're really having a lot more success because really, you know, you go into the Midwest and there's, there's a lot, there may be a lot of football talent here as well, but there's talent over there also. I think we're really taking advantage of that right now. Yeah. Yeah. I totally agree. Going great points there. I listened to the night report podcast, Richard and Mike, talking about that as well. It used to be just the area here, Florida, Jersey, Pennsylvania, New York, but now, like you said, it's all it's spread out all over the country. What Greg Shiano staff's doing is just tremendous recruiting everywhere, finding the players. Uh, this weekend, the 10 guys, there's one guy from New Jersey, uh, Chris Vigna, offensive lineman. Besides that, Delaware. Don Bosco. Yeah. What was that? Don, yeah, Don Bosco, yeah. Yeah. You got but Delaware, Connecticut, Maryland, Michigan, Georgia, Florida. Uh, let's, on, let's touch on some other guys. Uh, Michael Clayton. DB from Warner Robins, Georgia. Um, Chase Lynn, defensive end from Georgia, 6'4, 215. Uh, Nakai Wynn from Michigan. It's a guy I was listening to. They said he wasn't really a uh, top for Rutgers, I believe, but uh, he enjoyed the visit totally and committed uh, on the visit, 6'5, 270. Chris Vigna, 
295, real big guy. And then receivers, as you mentioned, two receivers, Vernon Allen, a third of Baltimore, Maryland, 6'3", 190. And then um, Jordan Houston, actually from Bronx, New York, but he goes to high school in Oakdale, Connecticut, 6'184", pounds, really good receiver, committed last night. And then today, Robbie Johnson, Jr., Arthur Johnson, Jr., um, committed from Wilmington, Delaware, a defensive end, 6'4", 220 pounds. And I, those, are the, those are the whole guys. But, yeah, I mean, just great points that you mentioned with the doing recruiting-wise. Um, it's just you love to see it you know, beating out top schools now. And uh, we're, we're something to reckon with for sure. I mean, players are coming here, and they want to come to Rutgers. Staff's doing a great job with these visits, getting these guys here. And uh, we'll see what happens in this you know, come, uh, upcoming year. But um, it's it's all headed in the right direction, sure. Yeah, no, to just kind of hit on that as well, um, you know, one other guy, you know, I think the guy we got today, Jordan Houston, phenomenal get. I mean, I was reading about him earlier. I mean, this guy, you know, he played with Claudges, uh, I believe in Queens, if I'm correct. Um, or, yeah, they were in Queens. Did they play high school ball in Queens, I believe? I think so, yeah. He commented right. Queens. Yeah. There. But I mean, this kid, this kid had offers out of Penn State, um, Syracuse, West Virginia, Maryland, Michigan State. Yeah, he was in Queens. I was correct. He played at Oak uh, from Oakdale. Um, yeah, I mean, just just getting you know, you know, it's not about the numbers that you bring into the program, right? Like you can go find six more wide receivers if you really wanted to, but it's about the type of guys that you're looking to bring into your program. And I think you know, one thing that would that I could really see from last year from the guys that are recruiting now is we're really prioritizing speed all over the football field, whether that's at the defensive back, which where you need, or whether that's, you know, anywhere on the field. And I think just being just the athleticism that we're bringing into this program, you know, a lot of guys that are coming in as athletes that can play on both sides of the ball that you can really see where they fit. Is this guy going to plug in as tight end? Is this guy going to plug in as a guard? Is this guy going to play on the end of the defensive line? Is he going to be a nose tackle? So I think that 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 versatility um, has really allowed us to uh, continue to 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 really improve our depth. And uh, yeah, I'm I'm really, really, really excited. Um, I think I think we have not only is Greg doing a great job, I think both Harris Simiak and Chirac are both doing phenomenal jobs. I mean, even look at other guys like Coach Orphy, you know, just just recruiting the absolute heck out of it um you know every day every day they're in on they're in on these guys you know out in philly florida um so i'm really excited to uh to see uh see where this thing is headed right but yeah. as coach says one week at a time just gotta chip away yeah i love the, the big guys man alignment i was getting big defensive linemen big offensive linemen because we talked about it before in the trenches, the trenches can get skill guys. We've had them in the past, uh, certain good skill guys, but we've struggled. Now we've, we've really uh, even the playing field in the trenches, and now we we got to get even better. Because D line defense has been really good, but last year still struggled to get pressure, keep bolstering that line, and get big guys over there, and coach them up when they get on campus is a huge, massive getting these guys to Rutgers. Yeah, no, I uh, I totally agree, and I think. Uh... I think the uh, I think the future is bright for the basketball program, and I think the future is bright for the football program. And I think, uh, yeah, I'm out. Just come support this team this year. I mean, why not, right? I mean, he's building this thing up the right way. We play hard, and we're it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be awesome. And uh, I just hope I hope we have the quarterback position figured out. That's really what I hope. I hope uh, yeah. Ethan Calamanis brings a, a different dimension and. Uh, you know, I just I uh, I'm excited. So uh, we got Howard Akron, then I believe we got a buy, then we got Virginia Tech, and then uh, we got Washington at home. So yeah, uh, I mentioned earlier, well, Jason, that uh, talking about a scheduling the two Friday night games, and they gave us this Thursday game at six to open the year up. You know, kind of not the best, but uh, hey, it is what it is, right? We'll be there. You know, make it work. Um, if you got yeah. to work early, get down there, beat the traffic, and uh, like I said, just support, support the team. Greg, like you mentioned in the beginning, it's uh, celebrated his 58th birthday this weekend, an awesome weekend for him getting all these guys to commit. But he's like he's pre he's um talked about all last year. He's he's so ready to uh, be a Rutgers rest of his career and take us to the promised land. He's he sounds so fully committed, lots of energy, and it shows. And yeah, come out, buy the tickets, support NIL, do whatever you can to help help Rutgers. That's what I gotta yeah, say. That's 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 all I got on uh pretty much on Rutgers. Um Ball. No huge updates on uh, on basketball uh, at, at the moment. 
Uh, but we'll I'll definitely have some news uh news on them shortly. But uh yeah, uh let's go Yankees, let's go Rockers, and uh let's get it done, boys. I'm really excited and uh I appreciate the recap. I think uh we hit on everything we needed to and uh we'll be back soon. Signing off, Jason. Yeah, signing off, Travis. Great podcast. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Have a good one. Thanks. See you guys.